Hi, SourceFed, Steve. Trisha. The fountain of youth has been discovered, and it's blood. Dear God, it's blood. The vampires had it right all along. It's super true. No, no, that's not how vampires work. They yeah, you drink it. the blood of a young virgin, and then it makes you younger. No, it, it just feeds them. Blood is literally just food for vampires. No, no. So scientists from Harvard and Stanford have agreed that you simply need a blood transfusion to unlock that invigorating feeling of youthfulness. In three, count them, three separate scientific trials published today, researchers unilaterally agree that injecting elderly mice with blood from younger mice rejuvenates their brains and muscles and reverses some signs of aging. Great job releasing this info, science. Now a bunch of creepy old bad dudes are gonna kidnap babies and steal their blood. So how does all of this work? There's a certain plentiful protein in young blood called GDF11. Now, researchers have been testing GDF11 in mice for years, focusing mostly on its positive effects on the heart. But recent closer looks into the study have found that older mice were able to navigate mazes faster, run longer on the treadmills, and demonstrated a better sense of smell. And the reverse worked too. Young mice injected with old blood had noticeable difficulties afterwards. Here's a fascinating chunk of words from one study written by Harvard biologist Amy Wavers on the matter. When researchers switched to pure GDF11 injections in mice, they found the protein itself gave similar enhancements as shared circulation. There were more stem cells in their muscles to create new tissue, and they performed better on strength and endurance tests than controls given saline. GDF-11 treatment also increased the amount of blood vessels in their brains. Science! Now, that same biologist said that a, quote, small group of human subjects appeared to have similar GDF-11 protein levels to the test of mice, but warned that scientists need to conduct more research before they can safely test the transfusions on humans. Ah, but a neuro scientist and author of a third study on the matter, Tony weiss Corre, says, uh-uh, girlfriend. He plans to conduct the first ever young blood clinical trials with a group on Alzheimer's patients at Stanford this year. This is insanity, Trisha. It's just like in the movies when the good scientist is all, hey, we need, to, we need to research this more before it goes to clinical human trials. And the bad guy is like, no way, we need to use this now because my dad's dying and he needs it and I'm evil. And then there's like superhuman, evil human rat monsters killing everybody with their evil blood. Either way, these are exciting times for science and technology for sure. So what are your guys' thoughts on this research? Let us know in the comments down below. And also click that like and subscribe button if you haven't done those things and check out the sanitation with other things that click on. Steve Sarah comes up by. Science! Hey Steve, what? wanna go for a baby blood cocktail? <laughs> yeah, <I> said, yes. <laughs>